A few weeks ago, I met up with what exists of the Salvation Army in Nepal. I actually uploaded a video about that yesterday, which was just a bit of video from the church service that I attended a few weeks ago. But when we parted ways for the first time at the beginning of December, they invited me back to their house for a Christmas event which happened this past weekend, which is what I'm going to talk to you about today. So first, I guess a bit of background might be in order. First of all, clergy in the Salvation Army are referred to as officers. Second of all, the Salvation Army officers in Nepal are missionaries from India from a state called Mizoram. Third of all, Mizoram is unique in India in that it's overwhelmingly Christian and as a result it produces an overwhelming number of Christian missionaries that go into the field in Central Asia. So as you might expect, I found myself the only white face at the Christmas party, uh, well until John showed up. Uh, I met him there, he's based in Singapore, he's a missionary, he's from America and he's a cool guy. But back to the event, most of the people who were there were missionaries or friends of missionaries or family of missionaries from Mizoram. As one might expect of any gathering, there was a lot of food cooked, and I mean like a lot of food, as in a literal bucket of rice. And as you would expect from any social subgroup, uh, they did it in their own style. So even despite the fact that there was a fully stocked kitchen, they decided that they were going to cook it all outdoors on gas stoves. They boiled some pork, uh, smoked pork that they actually brought in from India. Um, and then these kind of bean pod things that I'm not quite sure what they were called, but they're also from Israel. The woman who was preparing them actually kind of lamented to me that they weren't as good as they should be because they had to be frozen in order to be brought over such a distance. But honestly, I couldn't tell because when I bit into one later, uh, I literally had to spit it back out again. It was so freaking hot. Luckily, I think Jonathan was the only one who noticed that I spit it out and, you know, I guess there was a bit of an unspoken white man's pack that we're not going to admit that uh, that was way too spicy. But while all the food was being cooked, of course, we had a bit of a Christmas program slash service sort of thing uh, where people decided that they were going to perform for the rest of them. So a few families did their thing and then a bunch of the young people got up and sang a song. Um, and then a man got up and gave a bit of a sermon. Of course, most of the stuff turned out to be in the Meso language, so that's like five degrees removed from anything I could possibly understand. Like, I speak English, trying to learn Nepali. Nepali is kind of like Hindi, but Meso is completely different from that. It was a great time, I, and I enjoyed meeting all of the different people, all the people from Mizoram, and then of course Jonathan later on as well. We kind of connected over uh, some of the cultural differences. Um, and uh, it, it was just a fun, fun time. They ended up inviting me back for Christmas. Unfortunately, I have other plans for Christmas, so I won't be able to do that. Um, but, you know, it's, it's good to kind of uh, connect with a family sort of thing, connect with a bit of a base here in Nepal. So yeah, that was my uh, very miso Christmas. Uh, if you missed it, here's a video I uploaded yesterday. Uh, it was about the Salvation Army service that I attended a few weeks back. Mid-January, I'm expecting to go back and visit them during the week. Uh, that's when they do some seamstressing uh, classes and some craft classes and occasionally they do uh, some English language classes as well. Uh, and it's all free for women who sign up and are trying just to, uh, I guess, gain skills so that they can uh, make a living here in Nepal. Um, and so I look forward to showing you that uh, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I guess this will be my last video before Christmas. Um, and I will see you next week, I hope. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then on the way home we broke down. Twice.